Twenty times did you get hoof out this morning? <laughs> He's going to claim none, but I reckon I got him out once. No. <laughs> it was actually good fun to watch how he, how he went about it. Put filters uh, one place and he generally hits it the other direction, so no, it was a bit of fun. It was good. So how, how good is it going to feel to be out there again in the middle? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I haven't played since uh, a week after the Champions Trophy. I played an Australia A game, so excited to get the creams back on and uh, go out there and have a bat and a keep. Um, no, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Anybody else? Good presser. <laughs> yeah, he's a terrific player. I'm someone that averages 40 in Test cricket. He's a very, very good player. So I was lucky enough to play with uh, Matt in uh, in Victoria, and I'm not sure what year it was. He played 2020s, so he played a couple of games there. So I've had a little bit to do with him. But no, he's a he's a terrific player. So. Matt, this is a good opportunity for you to push your claim as a batsman in the upcoming Ashes test in Manchester. Uh, yeah, potentially I think so. I think um, you know anyone that puts their hand up in this game is a chance to play next test. Um, you know, you saw yesterday, David Warner got 190 and um, he's probably put his hand up for a spot as well. So I think if any um, any player or batsman um, scores big hundreds, I reckon they're, they're half a chance for the next test yet. Okay. How hard is it for you to balance that? The fact you know you've got a chance to get in as a batsman and you're, yep. you're the weaker keeper too. How do you go about preparing? The same as I always do, really, to be honest. Um, I'm here as a backup keeper, that's for sure. Um, if something happens to Brad, then, I'll, then I'm going to play. So, um, you know, it's two sides of the game. That's how, you, that's how it's, you got to look at it. You go when you're keeping, you know, 100% focus on your keeping. And the same, um, it's probably a mindset, you know, when you're batting is to knuckle down a little bit more than... Um, if you're batting seven, you, you tend to have a little bit more of a swing with the tail, so try and knuckle down and, and really uh, nut out a big one. Ben, Matt, um, day 100 sort of raised stakes for you guys in this game now to sort of, you know, step up in front of Yeah, 100%. We all think big hundreds, but it's nice to see Davey go out and do what he did. He's been under a little bit of pressure and a few things have gone wrong for him over the last couple of months. So as a team, as the Australian cricket team, we're stoked to see Davey do what he did, and uh, yeah, 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 definitely set the bar high for the guys in the next couple of days to, to try and get a double. Maybe I think he fell a couple of runs short, so we'll try and beat him. Um, when you were in India, obviously you were batting at six. Uh, looking back now, would you like, do you think it might have been better if you'd just been concentrating more on your keeping, or were you quite happy with that position? No, I was happy with that position. I batted six at the SCG and managed to get 100, and then, uh, you know, it was just the way that it went when I went to India. Um, you know, it was hard working into your keeping for sure, so um, I was 100% concentrating on my keeping when I was out there keeping, and, and the same when I'm batting, I don't think it made a difference whether I'd batted 6, 7 or 8, to be honest. I know you work on both keeping and batting all the time, but has there been any difference um, on this tour, um, knowing the, the second keeper have you done more work on yeah. the batting ordinarily? No, probably not. I'm pro probably the other way around. I've probably had the opportunity since uh, I got dropped from the test team to really focus on the, my keeping, to be honest. I did you know, six weeks of hard work in um, Brisbane to try and get my keeping better and better, and then the same thing once I've got here to work with uh, Hads and uh, try and continue to improve. So when uh, I get an opportunity with the gloves again that I can, I can nail it down. Were you specifically given advice on so you keeping the slow bowlers, fast bowlers, or...? Uh, not really. I think it was just a combination of, of both things, just to tidy the whole thing up. I think um, I got to a stage where I'd been playing for three or four years straight. You don't get the, the time off to really sit down and, and go through the nitty gritty of, of um, little things you know, that you're doing. So um, to have that opportunity in this off season, to, to have a few weeks off and just really nail technique kind of things, uh, it was good for me. How much time did you spend chatting to the right? Yeah, a lot. You were pretty lucky to have Rod, and obviously we've got Stump around Hads, so um, three really experienced guys who have kept a lot in Test cricket. To have them around is good. It's good to bounce ideas off, and um, you know, generally you don't have those kind of people around um, as a keeper, so it's good to have them around. Has Rod sort of given you any sort of suggestion that keeping's changed? I mean, obviously now there's a greater emphasis on you guys being in the side almost as as batsmen in your own rights, but apart from that, is he? Yeah, no, obviously Rod, Rod talks about keeping. I mean, keeping hasn't changed that much. It's pretty, it's always stayed the same. You've got to catch the ball when it comes to you. So I think he's 
he's been pretty simple with those things. But yeah, for, for sure, in the last you know, 20 years, 15 years, that the batter, you certainly have to you know average more with the batter as a keeper. But um, that's the thing I was talking about. There's two sides of the game. It's, it's almost like an all-rounder now, a, a bowling or batting all-rounder. You've got to have both sides of your game in order. You must look back on, you know, Bird Oldfield, average 22, Don Tullum, 17, mm -hmm. Willie Grout, 15. Yeah. How, you, how easy was that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure about that. Obviously, the game's changed so much as well as runs um, in general. You know, they weren't using the best of bats at that stage and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I think you know, runs per innings have obviously increased, and with batters, you know, our averages and aggregates have obviously increased as well. Thanks, everyone. We'll leave that. No worries.